Hi, this is Joseph Tan here from GoodMonday.com. You know, as parents, uh, we hope we can control our child, but really, you cannot. But there is one thing that you can control, and that is your relationship with the child. Um, you cannot control the child per se because the child has a free will, but there's a whole lot of things you can do with regards to your relationship with him or her. As the parent, you set the tone of the relationship. Why? Because you are the leader. There are three types of tone that you can set with respect to your relationship with the child. One is how you respond. Meaning, if the child were to talk to me in a whining voice and if the child throws a tantrum, this is a language that I will not respond to. And if you whine and if you throw tantrum, I will choose not to respond to your whining. You better go sort it out. You better go into a corner and whine on your own. I am not going to respond to any whining. You better learn to speak to me with respect and in full sentences. Then I will respond. This is the first tone you should set in your relationship. The second tone is this, my relationship with you in terms of your contribution. Hey, I am no Santa Claus. I'm not here to just give in to every one of your fancies. If you want certain privileges, if you want certain toys, or you want some extra freedom, at a certain age, you need to work for it. You need to be com completing certain projects. You've got to make sure that you do your chores. And once you are doing your area of responsibility, then I can consider getting something for you. Why is it that children nowadays get bored easily? Why is it that they do not take care of their toys? It is because everything is dished out to them. F-O-C. Free of charge. Easy come easy go. Now, in setting your tone of relationship with your child, have a contribution mentality. When you are of age, you are able to do chores. When you're able to fulfill certain responsibilities, I expect you to contribute first. Then you get what you request for. Then the child would know how to take care of it. Isn't this what is happening in the real world? That nothing comes for free? Thirdly, as a parent and as a leader, I'm here to guide you. It is my job to bring joy into your life. It is uh, my job to have fellowship with you. It is my job to create memorable moments so that you will feel uh, free and comfortable in consulting me when you have issues in life. That is also another tone in the relationship that I want to set with my child. I am a guide with open doors and I will love you unconditionally. So though you cannot directly control your child's will and make him do what you want to do, what you can control is your relationship with him. What you can control is to put in certain incentives and consequences in your relationship so that he would want to respond in the right way. I mean, at the end of the day, as your child grows up, he will have his own free will. What you need to do is to exercise leadership in your responsibility with him so that he will be able to connect the dots in a sense that following you as a leader will actually bring about benefits. What are the benefits that your child will gain if you focus on controlling your relationship with him? One, he will learn the benefit of respect. He knows what it means to respect a person in authority. Come to think of it, isn't life all about respect? Respecting other people, respecting property, res respecting other people's preferences, respecting the law. So create a relationship of respect and it will do your child well in the real world. Secondly, you share with him the benefit of contribution, of being a contributor rather than a consumer. In your relationship with your child, don't just give the child whatever he wants. He has got to learn to work for certain things and contribute towards 
uh, the welfare of the home. And one of the greatest practical ways to do it is to assign chores. And thirdly, in your relationship with your child, always make sure that you are there to be a guide. Because the foundation of all effective leadership parenting is joy. And when there is joy in your relationship, you are making it even more conducive for the child to want to obey you, to want to follow you. And that is the right exercise of his free will. This is Joseph Tan here from goodmonday.com. Thanks for watching.